An inferential unit is very simple to use. Our units, when you get them, are preset so that when you turn the unit on, what you end up getting is that immediately it comes on for interferential. Now, we do have within the control panel, which is very simple, you can do two channel or you can do one channel, which is just one set of electrodes working. But once you get it started, you put your electrodes on. The thing we're doing with the electrodes is we're trying, again, to have an area where we're experiencing pain, and we're trying to put electricity back and forth through that area. We do that by taking our cables, which are nothing but the little cables you see here that connect to our electrodes. We put the cables into the unit. We then go to the channel of which the cable is connected to the unit. Let's say I'm having knee pain. One of the things I would want to do is say the pain is deep within the joint. I'm going to take my one electrode, and there's many ways you can do this, but I'm just trying to give you the concept. I'm going to take one electrode that's on one channel, and I'm going to put it up here on the front. Electricity will come out of there, and where do we want the electricity to go? Well, I know I've got pain in my joint, so the next one, I'm going to put it behind my knee, I can get my pants up higher. There. So now electricity is flowing this way. I'll take my other channel. Again, I'm trying to hit that area. So I'll put this one on the top front here. So now electricity is going down this way. And it will come out. It will connect, I should say. Good tackiness on the electrodes, that's important. Put it here. Now, when this unit comes on, when the Infrex unit, you turn the power on, you have electricity coming from this electrode going to that electrode. So it means it's going across there 4,000 times a second. You have electricity coming from this one going to this one. It's bisecting or cutting right through the area I'm having pain. Now, what that's doing is a little over 4,000 times per second. I won't get involved in that, but you have two currents going at each other, and they combine to give you that sensation that gives you carryover. Now, for some patients, they may say, well, my pain is more here than it is deeper. So we may take the electrode on one. Instead of there, we may put it up here on the outside of the knee. We take the other one. Let me see which one that's connected to. We take our other electrode that was up here, that's the other half of this, and we put it on the inside of my knee. Now what do we have going on? Electricity from here to back here. Electricity here going all the way across my knee, transversely. So now we're bombarding that area. We turn our unit on until we feel the sensation. We let it go for approximately 30 minutes. At the end of 30 minutes, you turn it off, and you should have pain relief. Now, during the treatment, you should have pain relief. It's immediate. Unlike a TENS unit, where sometimes you have to have a trial and error period, with interferential, it's automatic. But this gives you an idea of how you use an infrax unit. Now, you will see at the bottom of the video an 800 number. You can call us at that 800 number. Not only will we help you with the placement, but we'll be more than happy to explain to you the physiology and what does go on with an interferential unit versus a TENS unit and see if we can't do what we can do to help you alleviate your pain. And I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions on the TENS, please look at our other video, which explains how a TENS unit works.